And uh, here we have a question from I Shoki Bulkak. How do I start using STM32 for beginners? Of course, Artas 2. And also from uh, China2499, uh, what will you say for freshers who eagerly wanted to do things in embedded area? Is there any course provided by SC to follow? Okay, so both are very nice questions, so thank you for them. <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> yeah. And who are you? I'm sorry, I'm Evo Tisas and I'm head of the microcontroller support team. And what, what I would say to beginners in embedded area, welcome to the embedded world. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically uh, what you will need to learn uh, to begin with the embedded applications, there are a few things you need. The first is the C language. You need to learn the C language because uh, in 95% of the application this language is used. C is a big language, no? Uh, well, yes it is. <laughs> Uh, but of course, uh, for this uh, we will not help you much, but I, have, uh, I can recommend a uh, few materials where you can start with. So, so those are two different is, books? Or what? Uh, yes, two, two different books. One is uh, C in a nutshell, uh, which is quite large, and the second one is Thinking in C. So these two books uh, you will find freely on the internet, and uh, this will give you the introduction to the C language, and of course you will find there everything you need for the, for the C. And that's it? Well, that's it for the C, but uh, then we have to learn the microcontroller. How long time does it take to learn C? A couple of weeks? That's a nice question, okay. Uh, for me, it was about a uh, couple of months. A couple of months? Yes, I think so. Because first you start with the basics. Uh, you write your first uh, Hello World application, and uh, you think you know everything, but you don't. And then you have to uh, learn how to properly program in the C. It's not possible without having the C? Uh, with some other programming language? Yeah, you can use uh, a similar language if you like, but uh, it's a little bit more difficult and honestly, nowadays it's a little bit, uh, how to say, uh, old-fashioned way uh, to program microcontrollers. Uh, you can use C++ as well. I would say this may be the future for the for the microcontroller programming, uh, but of course uh, there are some limits on the microcontroller resources, so the C++ is not so, how to say, uh, easy to use. Uh, well, Java, of course it's possible, but honestly I would not recommend it for the micros due to the limited resources. Uh, C++, uh, sorry, .NET, also an option, but very uh, the same problems like with the, with the Java. And what, uh, what is the next step? The next step, learn the microcontroller itself. Uh, you need to learn the peripherals, you need to learn... So you how need to know, learn, uh, let's go over here. You need to learn uh, what's around it? Exactly, exactly. Uh, what are the uh, communication peripherals, how to use them, how they work, how to work with the GPIOs. So this is the way, uh, this is about the microcontroller. Uh, then you ne need to learn how to use the development environment. IDE, the C compiler, and the last step probably is uh, to learn the debugging. How to debug the microcontroller, how to find the mistakes in your code, how to find the problems in the hardware. Uh, many people know how to do all this? Uh, well, all the embedded programmers know it, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, how, to do, how to learn it? Uh, I could recommend you some online resources. So for, uh, for our customers, for STM32, uh, our team is preparing so-called MOOCs. A massive open online course. Where? On which platform? Where can people find them? Uh, you can find them on this very simple uh, web link. <laughs> so you have to type in the whole thing here? Exactly. But maybe a little bit easier, it's just to type in STM32 education inside the Google and it will point you directly. And this, this. MOOC has the whole package, the whole thing? From well, a very beginner or what? Yes, exactly. Uh, there are a few steps, there are five steps of the moves. The first is uh, very the basics of the, uh, of the STM32, which will teach you how to use the CubeMX uh, tool chain. It will teach you yeah, mainly this. Uh, then we have another step, which will teach you the, uh, the hardware of the STM32, the peripherals and everything. Uh, then we have uh, more advanced steps, so where you will learn about the LoRa, about the motor control, and these kind of things. So there are a lot of materials available already. And part of the question was also the free RTOS. 
So regarding free RTOS, unfortunately, uh, we don't have uh, online resources right now. But what we are providing, uh, we have also the face-to-face uh, -face sessions for our, our customers. Uh, these face-to-face -face trainings uh, you will find uh, on the same page, like, uh, that means the STM32 Education. Uh, the next session is in Milano, uh, end of March. Unfortunately, there are only three places left for the moment. And How I much it costs to get in there? Uh, it's free of charge for it's our free. customers. Just sign up and show up. Exactly, but you need to pay yourself the travel uh, expenses. It's just a and Ryanair. Hotel. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and there will be more and more of these events in the future? Sure. Well, we have the plan for the trainings. You will find it on the STM32 education page. Uh, so the face-to-face -face training, they are coming. There is the free RTOS training as well. Uh, and we plan also to publish uh, the free RTOS training as a MOOC course.